The House of Representatives says it will prioritize the national security bills as it resumes legislative activities for the last quarter of the year. The lawmakers also mandated the Speaker to lead a high-powered delegation on a condolence visit to the Plateau State Government over the recent killings in the state. National Assembly correspondent Jokadisa has more. After Tuesday's suspension of plenary in honor of deceased Ondo legislator, Adedayo Omolafe, the House has now kicked off legislative business. Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila welcomes his colleagues after eight weeks of vacation. He says insecurity remains an overwhelming threat to the nation. His appeal is that all statesmen act beyond the petty consideration of politics so the country can achieve greatness. The House is also ready to make its own contributions to ensuring a secure Nigeria. This is not to suggest that we will abdicate action on other matters of national concern. We only reaffirm our commitment to do all that we can to defeat those who have made it their cause, to impose on our country an unending orgy of carnage and inflict our people with devastating grief. The recent killings in parts of Plateau State came under matters of urgent national importance. Yusuf Gakti stressed the need to address what he calls the barbaric killings in Plateau State occasioned by the series of attacks and reprisals. These barbaric killings have caused a serious breach of peace in some parts of Just North and some parts of Baza local government. But we are grateful to God and to the effort of the governor of Plateau State, Right Honorable Simon Babola, along to contain the ugly trend and avoid its escalation to other parts of Plateau State. Without debate, the motion was adopted. It called on the federal government to provide relief materials to victims of the attacks. It also commended the state governor for the proactive steps taken to bring the incident under control. In another motion, the House called on the central government to take over and complete the Moshud Abiola International Some Airport in Oshun State. The massive potential of tourism in Oshun State is capable of shoring up Nigeria and the state revenue in dollars and can be encouraged with the establishment of an airport in the state given that the state has a population of about 4 million with huge economic and agricultural potential. President Muhammadu Buhari's letter seeking approval for fresh external loans was read by the Speaker and sent to the relevant committee for further legislative action. Chokeyadza, TVC News, Abuja.